Alrighty, let's go summon for Shao. So we have 10 intertwined fates so far. We'll go on and try that first. Wow, four star already. Nice, my first Sin Yang. Another one already. Bonia's bow? Okay. Forgot to mention, but I'm basically. Wow, another four star. Basically 69 poles away until I hit my pity. So nice constellations for Diona. Alright, so 10 pulls out of the way. We got what three four stars? Diona Constellation first Sin Yang and Favonia's bow. So I have basically that brings me down to 59. 59 more pulls until the pity hits. So intertwine. I don't want anything here. So I'm just gonna exchange all 34. And let's get back into it. So that's 14, 14 so far. So we'll go ahead and do multis now. Nope. All right, another constellation. Wow, two Dionas. All right, we got one more multi before I have to use Primo Gems. All right. I think that's Diona Constellation 5 now. All right, two more. Try not to use Primo Gems if I don't have to. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to. Yeah, so that constellation five right there. All right, we're gonna have to use our primo gems. So that's forty-six summons. So we need twenty-three more. Twenty-three summons more. Ugh. Oh. We got him! Rain Slasher? Where are you, Shao? Could I get more than one here? There he is! My boy, Shao. There he is. Cool. I'm still sitting at 5,300 Primo Gems, so that should be some to pull for Jade Cutter. So my last one. 
When was the last time I pulled for it? Bent wish. No record. What? Here he is. Yo, that's so badass. That's right. It's finally home. But I do use Diona a lot. Let's go ahead and get Diona's constellation up. Alright, so this is super nice, but we might come back to the banner and see if we can finish this off or maybe actually let's hold off on that. I want to get Jade Cutter first, see if I get lucky with that. Taking a look at his constellation. So people are saying constellation one's a bait. I don't think it is, given that his E chart is basically his primary source of gaining energy. So even if you can't cap the spammable three charges that you in a fight, you'll basically never have three charges. But I would still use this to utilize the energy recharge i would still utilize if he get him c1 again it, it'll be nice to have three charges out, out of the bat to hold and to uh regenerate his burst back top of that you have another charge for mobility and stuff, stuff like that so c1 better than c0 guarantee you that uh c2 again this again c1 and c2 works uh helps with his um energy recharge so whether he sits back or whether he's on the field, that'll help him uh, recharge it, recharge his burst back, so he so he can come back in the field to do his thing. So C three again boosts his uh, E charge. Nothing wrong with that. C four. This is a really I don't know. I really don't like this. I guess it kind of works in its own way where you're not gonna get one shot it, given that you're losing your HP as you're in his burst mode. And then obviously C six. If you're gonna spend this much getting. A hero to constellation six, especially a uh, natural five star. They better be good, you know. So the condition with the C six that I don't like is that it has to hit two enemies with this plunge attack. So a boss fight where there's only one enemy, you'll never utilize con constellation six. It just won't work. So you can spend up over two thousand dollars, and your constellation six won't even matter when it comes to a one with one fight. So that's the big drawback. Yes, it's super powerful when there's uh, multiple enemies, given that his kit is already uh, doing the plunge damage, right? So this is pretty broken on its own when you have at least two two opponents. So the condition, you'll most likely fight to any anywhere that you fight more than two enemies. I mean, all the other characters in the game, they they could do what they can do. They they could handle their own basically. So Constellation 6, that's the biggest drawback if you're going to push for a Constellation 6. Uh, it's super fun. Like it, with that one second that you get, that you get uh, when you hit the plunge damage, dude, you could spam his elemental skill like no today. Like you spam, if you're fast, you could probably spam it to like four times in one second. So if you're going for Constellation 6, good luck. Like congrats, you, you're too overpowered. Even just having this energy recharge, whether you're not bring another a Nemo battery for him or anything like that, this is, this still adds up. And then again, you by having C2, you have C1, so you would just have more charges to generate more energy for him that he'll just get back on the field more. I mean, obviously, when he's out getting his own energy particles, it's going to deactivate this, obviously, but during downtimes when you need a setup for him, like, it's still better than nothing. It's not the best, but so. Honestly, I'm happy with C0. C0 Shao is better than none. I didn't have to go bankrupt to get him. I, I'm i pretty happy with mine. Just kicks the spear, huh? All right. So we have Jade Spear already. Again, Jade Spear is actually the first five-star weapon that I started off with the game. I kind of re-rolled for that weapon and then just stuck with this since. So I didn't get no five-star heroes when I started, but I did start with uh, Jade Spear. All right. So artifacts, artifacts, artifacts. I believe the best choice for him is two-piece gladiator and two-piece anemo. So I do have some pretty crazy rolls for very Destin that I've been farming for a month. And we're going to go see which one I should equip on him. I'm thinking this one right here. 
Because it has one extra roll. One extra roll into crit chance. Again, don't sleep on these attack rolls too. So I don't have a complete gladiator set for him. So might try this one. No one's using it. So again, crit damage scales from all other sorts of damage and ultimately attack. You can pretty much get that anywhere else. So you really want to look for crit rate and crit damage. I'm going to take this one away from Fisher for now. All right, so our glass again. I do this very decent. Our glass was a pain in the butt to farm, but thank God we rolled this one. So it has attack, main stat, crit rate, and crit damage. So it's a three piece plus four rolled into crit damage. So we got some crit damage rolls pretty low. All right, so the reason why I was blab blabbering around a lot about the hourglass is because we have this one that we farm. Look how good it is. On a very decent set with the right elemental damage with all the right sub. And it didn't even roll into attack, flat attack. It just avoided it like a plague. Everything rolled into attack, crit rate, or crit damage. Take that from Venti. Looking for crit damage, and that crit damage helm happens to be this one. Take that from Mona. So I might come back and make the swap to Kachings. Alright, so he's level 70 right now. These are his stats from his artifacts. So 61% crit rate, 72% crit damage. Attack, he's sitting at 2400. Again, level 90, Jade Spare R1 is a refinement 1. So I swap to the Anemo 2 piece and the Gladiator. Constellation zeros, talents all six now. Let's go ahead and test them out. Those are some nice damage for a level 70 character. I mean, 18,000 on the E, 31,000 on the charge. Alrighty, finally. An hour later, finally have enough boss materials to send them. Alright, so I went to farm some ley lines. I think this should be enough now. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so these are his final stats at level 90.
But yeah, that's about it that I have. Good luck in your polls if you are pulling for Shao or the Jade Spear or Jade, uh, Jade Cutter. And as always, thank you again for watching and until next time, peace.